In the short comedy film, Oh How the Times Have Changed, Farmingdale filmmaker Mike Denisi stars as a man catapulted from the 1920s into modern day. The film was shot on Long Island and is in the style of a classic silent movie. After four years of production, it made its world premiere recently at the Long Island International Film Expo in Belmore. My inspiration for the film was pretty much just my love for the 1920s, also my love for Buster Keaton. Uh, I saw a f my first Keaton film in college and immediately just fell in love with his style and his techniques. And um, just years later, now, you know, jump ahead, um, I just uh, felt like in order to do something different, something that would stand out at the festivals, uh, this would be the project to do. Uh, the film is about a guy who's down on his luck, loves his girlfriend, goes to propose to his girl, she turns him down because you know he's a little too poor, um, and uh, he gets thrown out on his butt by his well, would-be father-in-law, and then he just stumbles around and bumbles around and then finally stumbles upon uh, a new girl and he instantly falls in love and she kind of takes a liking to him and uh, the old girlfriend finds out that he's a little uh, inherited some cash and uh, she suddenly loves him again and uh, well, Wild uh, can guess where it goes from there. It starts off in the 20s and then he leapfrogs into uh, the present time and that's why the, the world is so alien to him. He, you know. The idea for for uh, jumping him into the future was because, uh, quite frankly, it would be easier to produce and to you know set up the camera, and you don't have to worry about you know a, a, a present day car you know being in in the shot. Uh, we shot all throughout Bethpage, uh, Saville, Farmingdale, um, Medford. We even shot in and uh, Hexer State Park, all the backwoods there. Um, that's always been an inspiration to me because when you're walking through those, those dirt paths, you just you feel like you're back in the 20s. Are you ready for a Model T to come rolling down the road? Definitely the train sequence. Uh, when I, when, when um, my character goes to commit suicide and he sits on the railroad tracks and the train comes behind him and he gets up and goes to the other track and then it comes in the other direction and he's just like, I can't even commit suicide, right? So I think that's the, the sequence that almost, it almost didn't make it yeah. because we couldn't, um, we couldn't find anybody that could do the effect. And finally I found some, some guy that I work with, uh, always sitting in a corner with his computer, all quiet, find out he does special effects and he, he took on the shot for us and he was done with it a day. And um, I th I, that's one of my favorite shots in the movie. I'm glad it worked. Yeah. This is kind of a passion project over the course of uh, four and a half years, um, and uh, you know it's it's one of those things when you are self-funding something, um, you sort of have to uh, have to juggle a lot of different elements because you have to uh, you know or figure out when everybody's going to be available and when there's enough money to do whatever it is you, you need to do at a, at a particular moment. Um, so it's you know it's it's. When you're, when you're working on a project like this, it usually takes time when you're, when you're self-funding it. But uh, at the same time, you know, we love it. It's, uh, we love the, the, uh, the period and we're really excited and pleased with how it came out. I really love the, uh, the sequence that takes place uh, in, in, in Ashley's house. I think, it's, uh, I think overall it's very, very sweet. And I, and I think there's a really, really lovely uh, connection that kind of evolves between, be, between Joe and, and, and Ashley throughout. And, and the, you know, the moment when, uh, you know, when, when, they, when they touch hands right at the end of that, of, of that, of that sequence, I think it's just very, very sweet. And uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of, there are a lot of very funny parts of the, uh, of the film that I'm very proud of, but I think that, that bit is my favorite. It's it's extremely exciting. It's I mean it's it's a culmination of all this work to actually not just create something that you can look at and look at the DVD and say it's done and then watch it on your TV and never see it again. You want to watch it on a big screen and you want to watch it with people and see, as Mike said, if, if they, you know where they laugh and if if they respond to it the way you hope they will and you've hoped they would as you were making the movie, you know the entire process of it. So um, it's you know it's it's really wonderful, exciting, uh, you know, uh, experience, and it makes the whole production of it worthwhile. In Belmore, Chris Kalora reporting.